Hi guys, it's Polina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Polina. I make gymnastics and tumbling videos every week and today I'm going to show you guys how to relieve sore muscles. If you're a gymnast like me, you're probably familiar with coming back from practice, sitting down somewhere and just not being able to stand back up again because your muscles are so sore. If that's happened to you before, keep watching. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a Follow a long stretching routine that will help stretch and relax literally every single muscle in your body. But make sure you stay till the end of the video because after the stretching routine, I'm going to tell you guys three more top tips on how to stop your muscles from being sore and hurting you. We're going to start off by doing some simple neck stretches. So lean your head over to one side of your body. Make sure you're not pushing too hard here. Try to relax your head and neck as much as possible. Now slowly come back to center and now we're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So now we're gonna do a couple semicircles with our neck like this. And now just come back to center and do this shoulder stretch right here. Switch over to the other arm. Next we're going to do a couple of back stretches so lie down in your stomach and push up into a seal stretch. In this stretch, try to release all the tension in your hips and your lower back. Fold over into a cat stretch, or I'm not really sure what it's called. The aim of this stretch is to touch your chest all the way down to the ground, but make sure you're not pushing yourself too hard when doing this. Now transition up to all fours and we're going to do a couple cat cow stretches. These are really good to relax your upper back and just release any back tension that you may have. Now straighten your legs into a downward dog and over here we're just going to do a couple of steps to relax the calves and stretch out the calves and also stretch out the shoulders a little bit. From here step out into a lunge. Next, grab your back leg to feel a nice deep stretch in your hamstring. Remember, we're not trying to pull any muscles here, so if this stretch really, really hurts you, then please, please don't do it. Now repeat the sequence on the other leg, starting with the forwards lunge. Now pull your leg back again. Now turn around into a cross-legged position and fold over as far as you can to the floor. And I know this isn't like a common stretching position, but it is actually really good for your hip joint and just relaxing your hips. Next, straighten your legs into a pike fold. Remember, this stretching routine isn't about who can push down the furthest or 
you can be the most flexible. It's really just about relaxing your muscles and releasing all the tension that there might be in them. Now bend one leg to sit in this position and lean over towards one side. So now we're just going to repeat the same thing on the other side. To finish off this stretching routine, lie down on your back and bring your knees up to touch your head or maybe even further if you like. And for me, this is probably my all time favourite stretch, especially when I have a sore back. So I really hope you guys like it as well. And that is it. Now, I really hope you guys liked that stretching routine. And if you did, make sure to leave a comment down below because I'll be reading and replying to every single one of those. And now let's go on to the tip. So tip number one is to take a hot bath after you come back from practice because not only will the bath relax you, it will also relax your muscles and make them feel less tense. Tip number two is to roll your muscles out with a foam roller. Now, there are plenty of exercises you can do, but here are some of the ones that I really like to do and I feel that they really help my muscles become not sore. Now, the last and probably the most important tip that I have for you guys is to relax your muscles after practice. Now, I understand that sometimes this can be hard, for example, if your practice is two days in a row or three days in a row even. But as much as you can, try to relax your muscles after you come back from gym. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram, which it will be linked in the description below. And I will see you in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.